Going live. Going live. Going live. We are alive. Yeah, I hope it's alive. Hello, everyone. It is I, Connor Quimby, the anti Chomsky. And with me is, of course, everyone's favorite David. David. Oh, I forgot to mute my forgot to mute my stream. Whoopsies. Um, some of you might remember David from our stream where we deleted as many languages or as many letters from the alphabet as possible. So now we're we're gonna we're going to uh, tier list every single European language. Only the only the ones that aren't extinct though. So I, I think the I think the first thing we can do is we can acknowledge the fact that Esperanto isn't on here because it gets something lower than F called hell. Yes, your mic is just picking you up. No, but we agree that Esperanto is in hell tier. All right, so I, I don't have that on, but we have S, A, B, C, D, F, and an, an S plus F tier, which is very different from a C tier, if you get what I mean. Like, it's both amazing and terrible at the same time, not just aggressively neutral. So, yeah. Only Indo-European or geography, geographically? It, it's geographics. Um, like, so, like... The, the Wikipedia page I'm using is Languages of Europe. I'm pretty much putting in everyone I could find a flag for. Um, all right. So, yeah, here is the list in case you're wondering. Um, it's a pretty decently sized list. David, what do you think we should start off with? Which is Abkhaz. And uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I barely know anything about it, so that's why I have up the page right now. Northwest Caucasian. Okay. Adige related to Adige. Okay. 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 What do we have here? What do we have here? If anyone has any, oh my God, that's a phonemic chart. If anyone has any suggestions, we we can't hear David. Desktop audio. Default. Keep keep talking, David. Hold on. All right, all right. Should I start talking now? Yeah. Keep, keep uh, talking, connection David. terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name, but I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift. Nor have you been right, called right, by the individual. Right, individual so, I thought you haven't been called. That's All good. Right, that's cool. good. All right. Cool. Yeah, I was I was thinking of putting Abkhaz up pretty high. Um, so again, we do have an amazing phonemic inventory here. Um, of course, every every uh, place of articulation can be, except for the labials, can be velarized as phonemics. So that's. And are those objectives? Yes, those are objectives. We have, do we have objective fricatives? We do not, but you would think we, we would. Yeah. Oh my God. That's, that's a stupid vowel chart. All right. Agglutinative. Yeah. We're going to have, it's pretty, 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 pretty Caucasian. So I, I'd say we, Abkhaz, solid A tier language. A Abkhaz. A for Abkhaz. Pretty loud. Well, I, I was holding my mic. Put, then. I, I, I guess put I, my, I, I put my mic down. I was holding it to my face for the test. All right. Um, so now we have Adige. Again, um, Adige, as we all know, is most famous for being in EU4. I don't really know much else about it other than it's related to Abgaz. Um, what do you say, David? I think it's a country in EU4, I agree. It's B tier. I can also agree that I've never touched it. It's like a solid it exists tier. All right, so is that B or C? I think it's a solid C tier. All right, C tier. Um, by the way, everyone, we are not doing this like completely linguistically. We're trying to be silly, and also you're probably going to get offended. 
not like intentionally, but just because we're making fun of like Italians. We're allowed to. I'm Italian, so it's okay. <laughs> All right. David. All right. True. Um, Albanian. So um, I've done research on proto Albanian, like for school. And I have to say that I made the S plus F tier exclusively for Albanian because David, what do you, what, if I, if I were just to go up to you and s ask you what the sound uh, or what the letters written in G, J, and then E with two dots above it would sound like, what do you think? Sound like a double headed eagle. <laughs> That's true. But it actually makes the sound guh. That's awesome. That's awesome. So it goes in S plus F. Also the word um, motor means sister, even though that's like clearly supposed to mean mother, but that's just semantic shift there. So I think Albanian is very much S plus F. True. Many languages, no one will ever need to know them. Well, um, we're ranking every single one, so. All right. Aragonese. The joke is that it's unnecessarily in depth. Yeah, that's the whole point. Um, Aragonese, David, what do you think? Again, I EU4. think it's uh, one of the easiest starts in EU4, solid S-tier country. Solid S-tier country, plus it's also probably, spoken probably in Probably my one... favorite like, way to form Italy in EU4. Yeah, and it's also spoken in that one random city in Sardinia, which I find hilarious. Well, they own Sardinia. No, I mean today. Uh, well, back in the day they did. Yeah, so S-tier language. S-tier romance language. There aren't very many of those. Um, what do we think about Armenian? I think we're going to get canceled if we put it anywhere below a B tier, Connor. It, it does have a... Uh, Ar Armenian has featured on this channel before in my video, Top 10 Coolest Writing Systems. It does have a pretty cool writing system. Um, has some pretty cool phonemic... It has pretty cool phonology. What are we looking at? Or, oh, yeah, it's... Oh, right. It's Catalan, not Aragonese, that they speak in that one uh, village in town in uh, Sardinia. My bad. Uh, we're still keeping it S tier because, again, it's the best way to form Italy. Better than Italian. But uh, True. Back to Armenian. Cool writing you system. Get a, you get a free Spain for your efforts. Yeah. Cool phonology. I like system of a down. I want to say Armenian. Oh, also, again, like I, my, my research when it comes to historical linguistics is like like recently I've been doing a lot of Paleo Balkan stuff, so like I kinda have to put it up high. Do we want to say A tier? Yeah, let's go A tier. A tier. Like props to keeping such a unique culture alive for so long, you know? Yeah. Alright, A Romanian. It has Romanian in it, so we put it in F tier. Agreed? True. Alright. Asturian. I'd I mean or as Astur Leonese. Um, in case you don't know, that's spoken in northern Spain. It's basically Spanish, but northern. It's like Can Canadian Spanish. Yeah, it's like, hola, como estas, eh? I know what those words meant. All right, so, um, so on one hand, it's Spanish. But on the other hand, it's not Spanish. D tier? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, pretty yeah. average language. Pretty, uh, let's, let's put it in C. Uh, also, I'm not, I'm not doing anything within the tiers. I just want to check the chats. A for Armenian, Armenian B plus C. Okay, that's just French. Oh, this is a very unpopular language. Okay, I don't, you know what? I make the rules. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm kind of half reading the chat. All right. Avar, Avar, however we say that. That is spoken in Dagestan in southeastern Russia, northeast Caucasian language, I believe. Is it northeast Caucasian? I, I, I've literally never heard of this language, I'm not going to lie. How could you? I'm sorry. Northeast Caucasian. Uh, um, Let's see. Let's well, see. Do we have any cool features? Do we have that? Ma'aru Mats? That's a... Awarmats, that's a terrible oh no, that's not a terrible name. That's that's a silly name. That's a silly name. There are two dialect groups, SOV order, agglutinative, adverbs, you know. Okay, okay. Certainly a kick a Caucasian phonemic inventory. Georgian alphabet. Oh, that's pretty neat. This sure is one of the languages to ever exist, Connor. This is this is surely one of 
this is surely one of the languages to ever exist. Ooh, lateral fricatives. Sorry is tasa luha. You know what? I don't hate that. I think avar. Eh, cool, I guess. Yeah, let's put this in B tier. Yeah, we need we need to fill out the tiers. We need to What's fill out? We got to we got to put a D tier. Azari is going in D tier because it's Turkish, but not as cool. And we need to fill out the tiers. We need to fill out the tier. I don't have anything else to say about Azari, I guess, other than literally just speak Turkish at that point. <laughs> um, Bashkir, that's this one down here. That's a Turkic language spoken in Russia. Um, the only thing I know about Bashkir is that they have like a cool character for the interdental fricatives that I mentioned in my Anglo-Cyrillic video, and that it's, um, I want to say it's O's Turkic. Do we have any, do we have any, uh, thing over here? No, I'm reading chat. I'm reading chat. All right, you be my chat, man. I'm the chat. I'm the chat, man. Skippity bitty bop, 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 bop. All right. Boschkir, I don't really have any strong opinions on this. Like, there's a lot, a lot of the, the languages on this list are just, like, middle of Russia languages, to be honest. We should speed run the middle of Russia languages. C tier. Yeah. All right, Basque, easy S tier. I, I, I shouldn't even have to explain it. Basque is an easy S tier. I think everyone can agree on that. Some might say it's overrated, but some also didn't just see the new Basque inscriptions that dropped a couple months ago. So Basque is S tier. Um, Basque is the best language. The, okay, so the next one is Botsby, which rhymes with it kind of sounds like Gatsby, so that's why we have the cover of Gatsby, because we couldn't find a flag for this. Like, It's a language of like 500 people spoken in Georgia, Northeast Caucasian. Like, like 12 people speak it, doesn't have a flag. So D tier. D tier? Yeah, but, it, but, it kinda, but, but, but the name can also be Bats, which is kind of funny, so D tier. Solid D tier. All right. Um, this next one is going to be a little bit controversial. The next one is Bavarian slash Austrian German. I'm going to say I want this in F tier because if I'm ever in a German speaking country and I get greeted by Servus or Grusti, I'm going to lose it. What do you think, David? I agree. F tier for Bavarian, Austrian, German. There we go. Of course. Of right. course. The next one is Belarusian. We stand North German dialect. That's true. Belarusian is Slavic, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. I was still talking about Bavaria. Yeah, it's fair. All right, uh, Belarusian, though. What do we think? That's not a real language. Agreed? True. True, yeah. All right. Bosnian, also not a real language. It's just Serbo-Croatian. Can we have the Serbio-Croatian tier? That's funny. It's, it's below D tier. <laughs> Serbo-Croatian. Oh, I changed that to D tier. Oops. Serbo Croatian. All right, so I guess I'll just preemptively add all the Serbo Croatian ones. Uh, some guy donated S E K fifty. Will you rank Chinese, Esperanto, Uzbek, and ancient Albanian sign language for this donation? Oh my gosh, I got money? I right. thank you, Marcus. What All what right, is that? Is that Swedish Krone? That is sweet Swedish Krone. Will I rank We gotta. Oh all right. Rural Chinese Esperanto, S tier. Uzbek, Turkic, but it's also not spoken in Europe, so I can't rank it. Ancient Albanian Sign Language. Well, we don't know where the ancient Albanian sign language was even spoken, so um but I can confirm that they probably made a lot of g sounds with their hands. Thank you, Marcus. I greatly appreciate that. I want to figure out how much that is in American money. Awesome. That's five bucks. Thank you, my friend. Um, Belarusian is a real language, by the way, but the thing, the other thing... Uh, with it is um, like it's basically Russian 
It's like a Russian sidekick, and it's not like Ukrainian. So the country doesn't speak it anymore. Yeah, I mean, like it still like, exists. Like ten percent of them speak Belarusian, right? Yeah, and like again, this video, this this live stream is not meant to be actual linguistics content. It's kind of just meant to be silly. So because says, "Wait, I thought you were Swedish." I'm Swedish. I'm not. I'm not Swedish. I'm Swedish. He, you're, you, you live in America. You're Italian. Be quiet. All right. Um, Breton. Definitely A tier or B. Breton is an S tier. S tier. S tier for, awesome. for being awesome. Celtic being language awesome. spoken in mainland Europe. That's an S tier. But yes, True. thank you again, Marcus. I, I greatly appreciate that. Agmashwa is here. Is Kazakh on the list? Kazakh is on the list. Yes. Uh, Bulgarian. So as we all know, Bulgarian is just Eastern Macedonian. But like, what, 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 Khan will kill you. Uh, he will kill me. I don't care. <laughs> What's he going to do? Mm. Throw yogurt at me? That's it, you're right. When we say C tier for Bulgarian. We could put it in Serbo-Croatian. <laughs> It's it's not Serbo Croatian. But we could put it there. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. We're gonna put we're gonna put Bulgarian and Serbo Croatian. All right. Catalan. Virgin Americans ranking European language versus Chad Swedish people speaking ancient Albanian. <laughs> All right. Um Catalan, what do we think about Catalan? I think that Catalan is absolutely better than European Spanish. I mean, everyone can agree with that. Um, what is David's knowledge? Uh, I don't have any. David's knowledge is he plays EU4 on his mind. My, my, my knowledge is I have a thousand hours in, in a map game. <laughs> um, Catalan, I really like Catalan because, again, when people think of the main Romance languages, it's always like, Catalan is always an addendum, but like, oh my god, it's so much its own thing. I want to say Catalan is at least B tier, A tier leaning towards. Is David still playing the water pool? Yeah, Peter, I am. Don't worry. Oh, hi, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're putting Catalan in A tier. Well, if the real Peter is here, we have to just skip to Dutch. And we have to give skip to S Dutch. Tier. All right. Put Dutch in S tier for my boy. Ich hau von Nederlands. All right, Chechen. What do we think about Chechen? David. Chechen language, yes. <laughs> all right, we'll skip. We'll skip chat. Chechen for now. David needs to learn about it. All right, all, all right. right. And that is Chuvash, I think, which is Turkish, Turkic, in Russia. Again, it's another speed run, C tier. True. All right. Circassian right. or Cimbrian, not a Circassian. What the hell am I talking about? Cimbrian. That is this one. It doesn't have a flag because it's a Germanic language of 400 people. Basically, imagine Bavarian mixed with Italian from the early Holy, Holy Roman Empire. And I think for that reasons alone, F tier. <laughs> True. Because who the hell mixes Bavarian, which is worse German, with Italian? Actually... It's, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, no. <laughs> All right. Cornish. Am I too loud, by the way? I think I'm, I'm louder than you, definitely. I can, I'm listening to the stream at the same time. Every time I say something, it's loud. Maybe I should turn down my mic a little bit. Okay. Give me um, a sec. Okay. How do I do that? It's back up six inches. Also, I get that Cornish uh, is going into... A or B tier? Oh, I I want to put it in S tier just because again it is. Oh, excuse me. I is, decreased my mic to eighty five percent. Am I still good? Yeah. Okay, um, cool. I'm putting Cornish in S tier because again it is revived Celtic language. So, got to be cool with that. Um, nice. Corsican. It's not French. B tier. I think Corsica is awesome. Corsica is awesome. A tier. Yeah, that's where Napoleon was from. Yeah, it's true. So A tier. A for Waterloo. 
All right, Crimean Tatar. This is a tricky one because it's like it's a topical one. Yeah, it's like Tatar, but it's in Crimea. True. I don't really know enough about it other than it's quite endangered, but it's also oh, kind of. I do. I really I like Turkic languages, by the way. A little sparse. Hmm. The B tier's looking a little sparse. The B tier's looking a little sparse. So I'm putting in there. I love Turkic languages. I'm not just legally obligated to say that so I don't become single, but I love Turkic languages. Um. So I mean, yeah, I think B tier's fine. I think B tier's fine. Can we get back to Chechen? Can go back to Chechen. All right. So agreed. D tier. Of course. <laughs> That's valid. What is chat saying? Frisian is, oh no, language drama. Frisian and Luxembourg, uh, Fr Frisian and Limburgish are on the list. Oh my god, I forgot says. It's not on the list. Uh, on the list I was using from Wikipedia. Um, $5, Connor. I got another $5? Yes. Oh, thanks, Benny. He's a patron. That. I can't read that. <laughs> I can't read that either. I don't know. It, it, it's all Greek to me. I get that joke. Uh, I'll, I'll translate it with my amazing powers of the internet. Okay. Um, I need to add says. I don't know how to add says. Oh, go. I can't, I can't add says without losing all of our progress. I can't believe I forgot it. 64 cases. That's 63 more cases than the number of girlfriends I have. That's crazy. I'm so mad about that. I, oh, whatever they said just doesn't want to translate in Google Translate. It's probably not actually Greek then. Uh, Knowing Benny, it's not Greek. Is it? Is it like I have to look upside down? It's it's probably a conlang or something. Also, I put Croatian. Thank you again, Benny. I put Croatian and Serbo-Croatian. The message I put in says, I'm living in your walls, an old Kasharian. That's awesome. Thanks, That's Benny. Awesome. Oh my god, he's behind me. Gotcha. Alright, next we have Czech. Now, Czech is pretty neat. It has some funky orthography, I'm not going to lie. Um, it has the highest consonants per vowel ratio in any language in the world, I want to say, which is pretty neat. But at the same time, that orthography is kind of annoying sometimes, and um, Czechoslovakia was pretty cool. So, what do you say, B tier? I think it's a solid B tier. All right, I want more input from you on what the what the tier should be. Uh, All right. B for Bohemia. B for Bohemia, yeah, that's true. Danish made for the S plus F tier. Yeah. I I mean, like, but I don't know what else to say. The, the, the I Swedish that person that I am. Uh, I'm, as a Swede, I'm obliged to not like them that much. But but at the same time, the Danish language is so cursed. It's amazing, as we all know. Like, look at if if you doubt me, look into like the varieties. Some of them have like tone and lost grammatical gen grammatical gender, and it's just oh, it's so cool. But at the same time, it's Danish. So I mean, what can you do? Um, next up, we have Elfdalian, which is the forgotten Nordic language spoken like in between Sweden and Norway in like part of the north. Um, it's I'm actually going to put this I want to put this in one of the high tiers because it is like Icelandic. It's extremely conservative to Old Norse, but it's also innovative in different ways. I can't name them off the top of my head. I'm thinking, but but at the same time, like, I don't really know enough about it. I'm thinking B tier. Shout out to B tier. Shout out to B tier. B tier for the ones that we kind of like, but don't really know what to do with. Yeah. I want to... Two more dollars for putting Danish into S tier. I thought you were Swedish. He's betrayed me. He's betrayed the Swedes. Danish is... F, I'm, I'm not putting it in S tier. I'm putting it in S plus F, which is like terrible, but so terrible it's great. So that's the same thing with Albanian. If you actually look at Albanian, it's like, what the hell is this? But at the same time, it's like, what the hell is this in such a cool way? Like, um, it, it's not S tier, it's F tier. 
but it's also not F tier. It's very different than a Romanian or Bavarian in which I just no. It's no, but in a cool way, if that makes sense. Uh, he says F tier. Sorry. Okay. You're, you're forgiven. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. You, can be, you can be a sweet again. You can be Swedish. Yeah. Um, like Danish. The thing with Danish too. is. That's what it sounds like. What language yeah. sounds like that? Danish. It is beautiful in a disgusting way. It is the ugly swan of What's Europe. Great Gatsby? Uh, that was a... Uh, Batsby. Was Bats, Batsby was the language? Yeah, Batsby's the language. We Spoken couldn't find a flag like for it. people in, like, the Caucasus. Yeah. And it didn't have a flag, but I thought the name was cool. All right. Next up, I want to say this is Emilian, which is, like, spoken in North Central Italy. It's one of those Italian varieties. David, what do we think about the Italians? I think the Italians are pretty cool. All right, D tier. True. <laughs> Which Italian is actually, that? Actually, this is this is actually I'll put it in C tier because again, what flavor of Italian is that? Uh, this is like Florence region. I want to say. Oh okay. C tier. Tuscany is pretty cool. Tuscany is pretty really cool. If it was Etruscan, then it would be S tier. Yeah. I love my Tursinian languages. Well, that's been dead for longer than your wife. Uh, is Livonian on the list? Livonian? I did put Livonian on. Awesome. Because I like remembered at the last moment I needed to put Livonian on. I don't know where the flag went, but it's somewhere down here. Yeah, it's down here. All right. English. This is true. Like, English is like three languages in a trench coat, dude. Yeah, everyone makes that joke. Yeah, but it's a really good one. All right, sweet. I feel like English also deserves the S plus F tier. True, because I speak that one. Because English is an amazingly unique language. And but at the same time, it's incredibly English. incredibly unique dumpster fire. It is an incredibly unique dumpster fire. I feel like it absolutely deserves the S plus F tier. And I feel like people would agree with me on that. Let's check the tat. Yes, F plus F. What the hell is the Belgian flag doing there? It's Walloon. Everyone's favorite language, Walloon. All right. All right, this one is Ezria, Urzia, what is it? Urzia. All right, so that is that is Uralic, Finno-Greek, Mordvinic. All right, it's one of two in the Mord, Mordvinia. Um, this is like speed, again, speed run random Russian lang languages in Russia, but it's Uralic. So I think that automatically gets it into B tier because I love Uralic languages. So... No comment there. Estonian, also B tier. Estonian's awesome. Estonian's A. I, I, we can put yeah, Estonian yeah, in A tier. Um, I, I do it. love the little, the, the O with the, with like the, the U sound or whatever it is. That's pretty neat. Again, Finnish is going in S tier. It, it will be. I can put it in right now because Finnish is my favorite language. But we can get there. All right, I have no idea what this one is, this green, white, black. Extremaduran. Uh, thanks on the list. I believe so. Yeah. All right, yeah. I feel like we have Asturian in C tier because, again, it's Spanish, but it's not Spanish. But this one is, like, more southern. So Put it's it in like... Serbo-Croatian. Put in Serbo-Croatian. Got it. Of course, yeah, that's where that one goes. <laughs> what the hell are we doing? All right. Being Fa awesome. Faroese, easy S tier. I think most people would agree with that one, too. It's like Viking speak, right? Yeah. That's right. awesome. This one, is that Friulian? Faroese, Finnish. Oh, no, that's Franco Provencal. All right. So, again, this, in in case you don't know, there's like. France is spoken, uh, France is spoken. French is sp split into, like, three, like, original languages, like the Languedoc, which is, like, what French became. Languedoc, no, I'm mixing that up. Am I? I don't know. But there's basically French, Occitan, and Franco-Provençal. And I feel like the sole fact that it's not French is enough to get it at least B tier. Of course, yeah. 
but hear me out, hear me out okay. about Franco Provençal. Yeah. They're very annoying that they exist in EU4. All right, so that knocks it down to C tier. Drop it here, drop it here. Yeah, right. it makes the French start slightly more annoying. Okay, that's valid. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like Orleans or any of those guys. Yeah, yeah, when they, they, they balkanized France in EU4. Yeah, that's that's really, it's worse than EU3, honestly. Yeah, oh yeah. And that's the one I play, so, you know. All right, French, easy. All right, next one. Moving on. Moving on. Um, what is that? Is that Friulian? Yes, that's Friulian. That is, is basically... Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is another it. Romance right. language that's like kind of Italian, but mountain Italian. Like spoken north of Venice. Awesome. What do we think? I think it gets a solid... That's not Friulian? Yeah, isn't, isn't it Frisian? Frisian's oh my god, one. Friulian's later. I'm so stupid. That's Sauterland Frisian. I'm I'm such an idiot. I I was what the hell? I can't I, I'm bad with orders, okay, you know? Right, so hearts. that is Sauterland Frisian, that's B tier. It's a surviving remnant of East Frisian. Not much more to say with it. North Frisian. Oh, I want to put North Frisian in A tier. We love our low German stuff. And frisian and all that. I think frisian eight yeah. here. What do we think about this? I've had to explain thank, that. Thank, thank you, um, thank you, Dante Dalmatian. I was being an idiot and I was being cringe. West frisian for the S. I feel like it's a lot to put multiple frisian languages in there. But I can, I can do that. I can do that. So North Frisian, West Frisian in S tier, Sauterland Frisian in A tier because if it was in A tier, then it would. If it was in S tier, then it wouldn't basically be extinct. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'm glad we can all agree that Frisian is so much better than English. Now for Julian, that's my bad for being an idiot. Where was I saying we put that? Uh, I think you said D. D tier. A, yeah. D tier or C tier? Again, I it's not it Italian. A, oh, okay. Give it a D tier then. It's fake Italian. No, I'm saying it's not Italian in like a good thing. I'm saying C tier. You are based. Thank you. I'm putting I'm putting Friulian in C tier. Again, of I don't course. really have any strong opinions on it, of it other than it's Italian, but not Italian. So, like, it gets some points for being not Italian, but then it loses some points for being Italian. Yeah, we, we don't like Italians here as an Italian, so it's okay. I thought Except you were Stone. Swedish. He's Italian no, and I'm, Swedish. I'm a lot of things. American. Yeah. America. Heck yeah. All right. Gagaus. That is basically just if they spoke Turkish in Moldova. But the thing is, Moldova is just Romania, and Romania sucks, so we're putting it in F tier. It's on the list, yes. What is on the list? Vimisaurus. Vimisaurus is on the list. Yeah, what do we think about Romanian Turkish being put in F tier? I agree. I agree. Um, but at the same Roman time, it's cool that... Right? Hmm? We put a Romanian in F tier? Yeah. Anything that has anything to do with Romania, I'm putting in F tier. Of course. <laughs> All right, Galician. So Galician is to Portuguese what Scots is to English, basically. So I think we need to wait on Galician to figure out whatever whatever we do with Scots and Portuguese. Of course, yeah. All right, we can't figure that out. Yeah, Georgian S tier language. You don't know much about it, David, but it's S tier language. I, that's it's all one you know. of the countries. You're right. Actually, its its verb system is absolutely horrendous. I think just for that, I'm putting in S plus F tier because again, amazing phonology, amazing writing system is probably the most underrated country. It's one of the most underrated countries in the world. Beautiful place, beautiful language, but those verbs are awful, and also you know. That's Georgian. 
Um, Galician C. Galician, we could put Galician in Serbo-Croatian. That's true. We could do that. We could. We could. Be, which is funny because Portuguese is said to sound somewhat like Russian. <laughs> All right, German. Is this like just German or is just standard like German? Standard German. Standard German. That's, a, that's like an A tier. Yeah. A tier, B tier, A tier, B tier. It's kind of in between the two, honestly. Yeah, it's like a low A tier, high B tier. I, I would say put it in A. Okay. I'm not ordering them within the, the tiers. All right, Greek. Yeah. Greek. <sighs> Greek. Serbo-Croatian. Serbo-Croatian? Yeah. All right, agreed. <laughs> Um, all right. I hope I never run for president and they find this stream. Dude, all right. Hungarian like on 20 years. Hungarian. I feel like Hungarian is a solid D tier language because even though it's Uralic, it's also Hungarian. And I feel like most people other than Poles and Hungarians would agree with me on this one. Like imagine if Finnish was just like messed up by Austrian German. True. Also, Hungary is awesome. Hungary's Hungary's neat, but the language itself, like the other Uralic languages, are cooler. And people are agreeing with me in the in the, the chat. What's wrong with Serbo-Croatian? Nothing's wrong with Serbo-Croatian. We just think it's funny to have a tier called Serbo-Croatian in the middle of it. Um, Albanian tier S. We have Albanian in our mixed tier of amazing but terrible, but so terrible it's amazing. So yes, it is an S. I would I would say that Serbo Creation is, you know, it's more like the bargain bin at like, you know, your your local like thrift store. Yeah. It's just the assorted languages. Um It's diff but it's different than a C or D tier. It's Serbo Creation. Yeah, it's you different. know when yeah, you see it's, it. It's its own tier, yeah. Greek absolutely fits the vibe of Serbo Creation. Yeah. Everything it, in there fits the vibe. Extremaduran, even though that's spoken in Spain, it fits the vibe. You know, of course, yeah. I, I, I think honestly, while we're at it, I might as well put Galician in Serbo-Croatian. Of course, yeah. All right, next Icelandic. That's pretty easy. A tier. Pretty cool guys, yeah. I'd say A tier. I did make a video about why Icelandic is awesome. Um, I think most people can agree it's pretty awesome. Next up is Ingrian. Which is I that's Ingrian, right? Yeah, that's that's Ingrian, right? Let's 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 make sure that's Ingrian. Ingrians. Azorians. Uh oh. Ingrian flag. Uh oh. That's that's the forest fence. Alright, we're good, we're good. That is Ingrian. We did it. Icelandic is high. Hungarian is not an isolate. It, it's Uralic. That they, yeah, don't 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 put misinformation in my chat, please. Um, I say as I have Greek and Serbo-Croatian. Of course, yeah, we don't we don't tolerate bad opinions here. Uh, Only really bad opinions. Yeah. All right, Ingrian, I don't really know enough about it, but I think it's pretty cool. I say B tier, like, because I already have some, I already have a Uralic language in there. So, there's, yeah. So, I, I feel like B tier is fair for Ingrian. Now, that oh. is Ingush, which that is Caucasian. We need a Caucasus tier, too. We do need a Caucasus tier, but we have Serbo Croatian for that. Of course. <laughs> All right. Ireland. Truly the best here. Irish. Now, here's my thoughts on... Put it in us. Irish. Put it in us. I've got a brand new shiny helmet and a pair of kinky boots. I've got a lovely new flak jacket and a lovely khaki suit. And when we go on night patrol, we hold each other's hands. We are the British Army and we're here to take your land. Yeah, I, I agree. Up up the raw, but not like the car bomb version. Yeah. Like like the fun give us our north part back Ireland. Yeah. 
Um, I put Italian where it deserves, by the way. Irish is just Sindarin. Uh, oh. What do we think about Judeo-Spanish? I think we're going to get canceled again if we put it too low. All right, B tier. True. All right, I have no idea what these next three flags are. I completely forgot. Um, so we are going to look. Kabardian, Kalmyk. Corellian. But that's Corellian. Mm, we missed one then. I missed one somewhere. That is Balkar. Oh, Karche Balkar. It's just out of order. All right. Again, speedrun. I don't know these languages at all, but I know they're Caucasian. The ones that are. Oh, wait. Kalmyk. Kalmyk is Mongolian or Mongolic. So that's going straight into S tier because Mongolic language spoken in Europe. The other two I don't know enough about. Solid C tier. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Um, Mongolia is awesome. Mongolia is awesome. And the fact that there's a Mongolic language spoken in Europe, that's awesome. I, I don't know why I forgot to put that in S tier right away. All right, Karelian. It's, it, it's, it's on par with Estonian. It's Finnic. Yeah. It's on par with. Hey, you remember that one time I found that random factory in Karelia? Yeah, it was a really fun time. <laughs> All right, Kashubian, Polish but cooler. It's like, you know how there's low German for German? This is low Polish. This is low Polish. So I say solid A tier. Of course. I'm also Polish. <laughs> You're everything. All right. I'm many things. Kazakh. Um, my favorite thing about Kazakh is that one video of the news reporter going like, where he's doing like tongue twisters. It's, and also, very nice. My favorite part about Kazakh is that we can put it in my favorite tier. A tier. You're right, yeah, that's the one <laughs> yeah, I Yeah, it's yeah. an A tier okay. language. Very okay. nice. Very nice. All right, what is this? Is this Comey? Where did we put Swedish? We have not done that. We have not gone to Swedish yet. I think this is Comey. I need to check. I forgot. Uh, Swedish will be going in S tier. Swedish will be going in S tier. S for Swedish. S for Swedish. All right, that's Comey. Comey these nuts. Eh. No. No, it doesn't work. I'm putting it in B tier. I don't know enough about it other than it's Finno Greek. <laughs> so. I mean, what else do you need to know? What else do I need to know? Yeah. All right. This is Kven, I want to say. Now, where did I not put Kven in? Oh, that's Kven. Okay. So this is Kven. Kven doesn't need to exist because, again, it's literally just finished, but the Norwegian government thinks it's different. So I'm putting put it in D tier. Yeah, it's, an, it's a soft D tier. Like, like, just call it finished, and I'll put it straight into S tier. Like I already did. The um, great Gatsby tier. What? Gatsby tier? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. All right. What the hell is this flag? Curling, Kashin, Kony, Kven. Is it Kumik? It probably is, and I just forgot what it looked like. Because I have Kurdistan next. Yeah. All right. I don't know. What is chat saying? Did we rank? I am not K. Kl oh, K. Klein in the chat. That's a big channel. Hello there. Hello there. Do we rank basket? We did. It's S tier. Is Latin on the list? Uh, yes, it is on the list, but we haven't gotten there. Why the heck is Galician and Serbo Croatian? Um, they deserve it. They deserve it. Yeah, that's that's so true. Um. We're just being a little silly, you know. Serbo Croatian, the Balkans are so fun. Everyone agrees that the Balkans are so fun and we love the Balkans. So I figured like, they why, could... why wouldn't you want extra groups in the Balkans? Yeah. So I figured we should, we could put some Iberians 
and the Greeks and with and with in, inside Bosnia, you know, battle royale. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Kumik, I don't know anything about it. It's going in C tier, but it's Turkic, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kurdish. Um, I wish to remain in my relationship, so I'm going to. Um, He's at an impasse, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to stall. Procrastination. We're going to stall. We're putting Kurdish at the end of the list. I don't know what to do yet. All right, Latin, F tier. It's starting. True. To, it's, True. It, if you're wondering why I'm putting Latin in F tier, French exists because, because of Latin. Italian exists because of Latin. Romanian, the worst of them all, exists because of Latin. So I feel like I'm uh, a, I'm a says what? your partner Kurdish? No. His partner is Turkish. So he's at an impasse because if he ranks it too low, he's going to get canceled. If he ranks it too high, he's going to be single. That's a joke, by the way. I actually really like the Kurdish language, and she doesn't have a problem with it. So um, I'm going to undo my joke from earlier and put in B tier where it belongs. Latvian. Now. Latvian. The, the thing about Latvian is it's got some cool diacritics. Macrons are neat, but also Duchy of Riga. The, the Baltics are based. Yeah, put, throw it in S. Put it in S. Based Balkans. Balkans? Baltics. Baltics. All right. This is Laz, which is a Kartvelian language spoken. I believe this is Laz. Yeah, it makes sense. Kartvelian language spoken in like northeastern Turkey. So I feel like for the sole fact that it's Kartvelian, it has to go in the S plus F tier. Of course. Jordan. All right. This is... English. Ligurian. Oh. Like Genoese. Yeah. But it's all... The reason it's, only reason it's on here is because it's also spoken in Monaco. But at the same time, it's basically Italian. So I feel like it has to go in C tier with the other basically Italians, but not Italians. Right, Connor. Mon Put it in Serbo-Croatian. You're right. I totally forgot about Serbo-Croatian. <laughs> Where else are we? That's not Laz. That's Aspect of Space. W why the hate towards Romance languages? Uh, because it's funny. Yeah. I, I got to hate something. I, 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 have to, I, have to, I have to direct my jokes at something. And also, David's Italian... So the one with the Byzantine flag. What's the one with the Byzantine? That is for Pontic Greek because I uh, couldn't find Pontic another. Greek. All right, Limburgish. We're just gonna rate it as the Byzantines, though. All right, Limburgish is easy S tier. Um, in case you don't know, Limburgish is like what if Dutch was a tonal language with even more consonants and vowels? Yeah. It's like you want to say a sentence, but you have to solve a Rubik's cube in your head every time you speak. Yeah. All right. Lithuanian goes into S tier because Latvian is in there. True, true. Where's Estonian? Estonian's in A tier. But give it a push. Give it a push. Shout out to the Baltics. Shout out to the Baltics. We love the Baltics. And while we're there, we might as well put Livonian in. Because uh, Livonian would, would have gone S tier anyways because it is recently revived, as some of you might know. They just announced that the first native Livonian speaker in like tw 20 years is a, a thing. Dude, the old one called out in the chat. What? Got called out in the chat. Does your girlfriend know you hate romance? A real threat <laughs> to his relationship. Oh, God. Limburgish does have fake tones, but it's essentially tonal. Like, I get, I, I know it's not lexical tone, but like, learn it, it's basically tone. Yes, I'm aware. It's, it's kind of like an involved pitch accent. You know, like the sounds your mother makes when I'm with her, you know? No, I don't know. Well, you don't know. Yeah. That's because I haven't met your mom yet. All right. That exactly. is, this is Lombard. C tier, D tier, D tier. Because if it was yeah. cooler, Lombardy would still exist. According to my spelling reform, that says Jatsby now. <laughs> That's true. All right. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? Is that... Lombard. Oh, Low German. This is not an official flag, but I feel Low German A tier. A tier, David? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
But then I feel like standard German goes down to B tier. Is that North German? That is North. This is North German. Is that like the Berlin angry German? No, 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 no. This is like actual low Saxon, like Plattdeutsch. Oh. So I feel like... Wait, which one of these is like Berlin angry German? Berlin angry German is not on here. Oh. But we can compensate by putting standard German in B tier for Berlin. Okay. But I like stand I like angry Berlin German. All right, then it can go back into A tier. Yeah. Anyways, we have the Frisian languages in S tier, so... Is that, is that the Berlin angry language substitute? What? The, 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 the Frisian. Frisian. No, yeah. no. Frisian is closer related to English than any other language other than Scots. No, it goes in S tier because it's awesome. All right, Luxembourgish. On the one the hand... Language. Hmm? Is it a real language? Is it a real language? That's a good question. Or is it just another province I have to go through? Exactly. So if I think for that purpose... D tier. Of course, yes. The the correct answer. North Macedonian. Serbo-Croatian. Of course, yes. All right. Maltese is going into the S tier. I don't think anyone's going to uh, go against me on that because, again, Semitic language made official by the EU Parliament. It's so cool. But at the same time, there's Italian influences, but I don't care because Malta is really awesome. Cool orthography. Cool sounding language. Yeah. And it's also a funny not little island. That's true. I love funny little islands. I think everyone... Funny little islands are awesome. Uh, Yola, um, show me a native speaker of Yola and I'll put it in. Um, yeah, because Zap, I'm only doing um, languages that aren't extinct plus Latin because it's used as an administrative language in one country. All right, Manx. Where do we have all the other Celtic languages? Did you put the last funny little island? Hmm? Put it next to the other funny little island. You want an S tier? Yeah. Hell yeah. It was we stand funny little islands. All right. I have no idea what these next... <laughs> I forgot what these ones are. All right, so after Manx, we have Mari. Right? Mari L. Okay. Hey, you have the pizza here? And the pizza's here? Hey, you have the pizza here? Uh oh, I see Montenegrin. Montenegrin is going into Serbo Croatian. Yeah. Uh, but Mary L is going into C tier with all the other ones I don't really know enough. And aren't funny enough for Serbo Croatian. All right, next we have Mirandi's Nuts. I don't get it. Yeah. That one, I think. All right, that is basically a, just another Italian, so that's going in D tier. What is this one? Is it Moksha? Oh, that one's Moksha. All right, um, that is going in C, B tier next to Ezria because they're kind of like sister languages. What is? Can can anyone tell me what this flag is? This this one here? I I forgot. S tier because they're the last pagans of Europe. Mary is S tier because they're the last. Mari L. Okay. Is it? I don't, I don't know. What Mari is. It's in like central Russia. They're they're Uralic. That's valid. Yeah. That's valid. Where are they? Where are they? They're a, a, at least A tier. Yeah, yeah. We'll I, I can't put them we'll on the same, I can't put them on the same level as uh, the Finnic Uralic languages, so I'll put them in A tier. What? Moksha. What what language is what flag is that? Is it mine Frankish? I'm so confused. what flag this is i forgot connor there's always an easy out what put it in serbo croatian that's true i think it's i think it's mine frankish no that's palatinate
Nope, that's not Franconia. Oh, well. All right, Neapolitan. What do we say about Neapolitan? I talked, is based. talked about Neapolitan in my old video, Top 10 Languages, so I feel like it's definitely at least A tier. Of course. A tier. Naples. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a South Italian fan. Yeah. All right, Neapolitan. Nenets. Nenets is pretty based. That's the first one that you just skipped. That's the one I don't know what it is. Oh. Uh, Oh wait, I skipped Montenegrin. That's that's going straight into Serbo Croatian. Of course, yeah. Alright, Norwegian. Now Norway. I should have two Norwegians. I should have Bokmal and Nynorsk, or however the hell you're supposed to pronounce them, where Nynorsk goes into the top and S tier and Bokmal goes into like D tier because Bokmal is basically just like seventeen hundreds Danish. But also like Swede. Do, do we like Norway? I forgot. Yeah. Mr. Swede. We're pretty cool in Norway, right? Looks like Magleno Romanian. Mirandese is spoken in Spain. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, it's that it's that one on the Spanish Portuguese border. Well, it's can it can stay there. Um, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? I was thinking of something. What was I just talking about? Nor Norway. We're talking about uh, it's it's like uh. It's like a language, you know? Bokmal. Languages that people talk about. That's true. Norway. Uh, is the Swede still here? Mar Marcus, or who gave me money, which thank you again. New Norsk Bokmal. We need to figure out if we if the Swedes in the chat like Norway or not. I think Norway's okay. I think Norway's okay. It's at least B tier. Yeah. Which, honestly, I'm putting Swedish in S tier, so I feel like Norwegian can go B tier. Because it's nowhere near the same level as Icelandic. Yeah, nor nor be higher if Vinland was real. That's true. All right, next we have Ostatan. I'm a Swede if it counts. Yes, tell us your opinion on Norway. All right, What? yes, what's your opinion on Norway? Norway is cool, but basically a Swedish dialect. That is not true. Norwegians don't like the Swedes. That's but true. The Swedes like Norwegians. That's true. Is it a one-sided hatred? I think so. Um, where did, what did I just put? I put Ossetan in S tier, which I think we can all agree on. Yeah. It's like Free Catalan. Os Free Ossetan. Free Occitania. Ossetian. I don't think this one is real. I think it's just a Russian breakaway republic. Wanna, wannabe. So D tier. Yeah, put it in Belarus tier. Belarus tier. Oh. <laughs> all right. Palatinate German. Now, the reason I have this one on here and not like some of the other German varieties is because this one made... Pennsylvania German. So for that reason, Serbo Croatian. No. Actually, um, like genuinely for Palatinate German, though, what do you think, David? For Palatinate German? Yeah, because it's the reason we have Pennsylvania German. Mm, Pennsylvania German's pretty cool. Pennsylvania German is pretty cool. I want to put it in A tier. Just for Pennsylvania. Just for Pennsylvania German. Where are, they, where are they sailing? Rank Elf Dalian. Hmm? Elf Dalian? Did I already did. Where do okay. we put Elf Dalian? I think we put it in B tier. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. What is this? Is this Picard? It looks pretty Picardy. Yeah, that's Picard. So it can go in. Where, where do we say? F tier? Yeah, it's, it's just French. It's just French, plus you have to annex it when you play as France in EU3. That's, That's also true. Four. Burgundy owns it. Burgundy own, owns it, and Burgundy is annoying. Yeah, we, we, we don't stand Burgundy. So, no. Now, this one, I forgot what this is, so I get to look. Piedmontese. Spoken in Sardinia Piedmont. Piedmont's awesome. Hmm? Sardinia Piedmont's awesome. Yeah, but this is different than Sardinian. I think we, we got to put both of them pretty cool, though. All right, so A tier. Awesome. Yeah, put them in A tier next to each other. All right, so I'll grab Sardinian while I'm at it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Polish. I'm biased as I minor in Polish, but what do we you think? You did what through Polish? I minor in Polish. What? 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 
As a Polish person. A tier? Put it in S. S, S, yeah. We're putting Polish yeah. in S. Because, again, it's like two tiers up from Czech, and Czech is in B tier. So, plus the funny cow song. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah, the cows, yeah. Cow also. Next up, we have Pontic slash Cappadocian slash just Anatolian Greek. We put Slash the, the Byzantine Empire, baby. Byzantine put Empire, S. baby. That's put going to Serbo Croatian. Oh. <laughs> no, we'll put it in an S at the top of all of them. Yeah. That's so true. We're such losers. We're, we're so awesome. What do you mean? I'm literally dang a Turk and I'm putting the Byzantines here. Good. Good. I know. All right. Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese, I feel like it deserves the S plus F tier. Because on the one hand, Brazil. But on the other hand, Portugal. Yeah, on one hand, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Brazil, number one. Portugal exists. <laughs> but also, it's like Spanish, but cooler. So, like, it's I also, feel... It's I also feel, Brazil. But also Brazil. Yeah, you know, so S plus yeah, F tier. It's, it's carried by Brazil. Now, this one that looks like the Hungarian flag, but upside down, what is that? Is that Romansh? No, that's... What the hell is this? Reto Romance. Reprarian? We'll look it up. Oh, okay. Um, the other dialects of Portuguese are cool too, like Timorese and Angolan. Yeah, everything about Portuguese except Portugal. Yeah, that's why we're putting it in S plus F. Um, yeah. I don't know what this flag is. It's is it Romagnol? No, because I included Romagnol with Emilian. Now is it Plot Deutsch? This is Romanian. I'm putting it in F tier. I think that was an easy. Romanian. Romanian's going in F tier. Oh, Romanian goes in Serbo Croatian. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, right, 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 right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 it, dude, That's one of the languages. That's it. Romanian is one of the most languages of all time. Yeah. I need to like where, out where else would it have gone, reasonably speaking? Ratio romance? What? It's not romance. Because I have a romance flag. flag. So this mystery one is just going to stay here. Next up is Romani. Uh, I don't want to get canceled. So I'm just going to say C tier. David C would, for cancelled. C for cancelled. No, but in all seriousness, it's really cool that we do have an Indo-Aryan language. It's actually multiple languages. Some of them are Balkan, which means we might want to put in Serbo-Croatian. But I'm going to actually put... I'm going to keep it in C tier. Um, on thin ice, though. I'm on thin ice. All right, next, up, carbon bin. next up is Romance, which is the fourth language of Switzerland. It's pretty neat. It's kind of like Italian, but better. Because it's its own thing. I feel like B is a solid place for it. What, what do people yeah. think? It is cool how diverse. Blank. Fix your dialect. Reporting. Spanish, Portuguese. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to put Romani up another two tiers. Yeah, it is kind of awesome. Um, Romanche, B tier. Yeah. I still want to figure out what this one is. All right, next we have Russian. Awesome, Russian. Russian is a pretty cool language. I, I will give it that. Russian is cool. That's why we use this flag. That's why we use the, the, the flag of Peter the Great, even though he beat Charles the Twelfth. I'm still salty about that, as I know you are too, David. For, so just, yeah. just for that, we're putting it in B tier. Yeah. Also, that flag is what they should be using. That flag is so much cooler. All right. Um, Sami, well, okay, so Sami is multiple languages, but the reason I combined it as one is because there's only one ISO code. Oh, where did I drop it? I put in the S plus F tier by accident. Um, so there's, there's like eight Sami languages, but I can only find one flag. I want to put Sami in S tier. Because yeah. it's like related to Finnic, so... We stand Northern Europe languages. We do stand the Northern Europe languages. This is because we're American guys. True. We're, 
all middle, all young adult American men need to stand some random European country. And it's better yeah. than the North. Of course. All right, or next up, Empire, next course. up we have Scots. Scots is like English, but better, so A tier. True, true. Free Scotland as well. Free Scotland as well, and that's why we're putting Scots Gaelic and S. All right. Next we have Serbian. Now, you would expect me to put Serbo Serbian with Serbo-Croatian. And you'd be right. I would expect you to do that. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I just need to draw it out for dramatic effect. All right, yeah. Sicilian. This one's pretty easy. Easy S tier. Easy S tier. Funny little island. Funny island. Funny medium-sized island, but Funny. you get it. All right. Now, this one, this white and yellow one. That's the Vatican. Silesian. Okay. That was close. That's basically Polish, but not. Put it in the bargain bin. Bargain bin of B tier? No, the bargain bin. C tier. Serbo-Croatian. Oh, Serbo-Croatian, yeah. yeah it is Slavic. Bin. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Um, Slovak. Where do we put Czech? We put Czech in B tier. Slovak has to go with Czech because they're... You know, Czechoslovakia. It's just, they're the, they're, I know they're different. Don't cancel me. But like... No, they're the same way you're talking about. Wait, is Rusin in here? <gasps> Rusin isn't in here. I forgot Rusin. Why doesn't Rusin have an ISO code? Uh-oh. Um, Rusin is, but I agree. Rusin would be going into Serbo-Croatian if it was on here. <laughs> okay. All right. We could have put Russian in Serbo-Croatian. We could have. Too late. No, it's, it's too, too late. late. Yeah, no, right, we, Slovene. We, we can't edit this map. Slovene goes into Serbo Croatian. Of course. All right. This blue. Oh, this is Sorbian. Now, if you know my channel, you watch my video, more extinct languages we should bring back. I kind of talked about the the West Slavic languages that used to be, you know, spoken in uh, Western Germany, like Vendish and Polabian. But of course, Sorbian still exists. I think for that, it gets A tier. It has some pretty neat orthography, too. I know so David can't really, can't really make a point, but yeah. It exists in EU4. Yeah, it does exist in EU4. Spanish? This is European Spanish. That's easy European up here. Spanish, it's not very cool. Yeah. Swedish? The Spanish I like is when you watch Better Call Saul. That's and so Lalo true. is there and he makes you a taco. <laughs> All right. Swedish That's is going into S tier. We already agreed on that. Swiss German, it's better than Austrian German, but I don't like it either. True, true. It's also the correctly shaped flag. <laughs> so I'm putting it in D tier. All right, now this one. Wait, I didn't put Swabian. Tabasaran. I know nothing about this language. Didn't you skip that one because you couldn't find a, a flag? No. I, uh -huh. I skipped uh, another one. I skipped Tat because I couldn't find the flag. Oh, uh, the one. Okay. Tabasaran, though, I know absolutely nothing about, so I'm putting it in C tier with the other ones I know nothing about. <laughs> other than, yay, Caucasus, pretty neat. All right. Um, this is Tatar. Now, Tatar is Turkic and spoken in Russia. So, do I put it in the Turkic tier? Because this is basically what this is. No, I'm yeah, putting it in B tier. Okay. I don't Turkish really have a reason for that other than I feel like it's a B-tier language. Is Turkish tier? Turkish tier kind of ended up being C, but even though like half of those are not Turkish, there's like Turkic, there's a couple of Turkic ones in there that I don't really know enough about. I'm sure we could make a topical joke somehow. Yeah, we could. All right. We knew this was coming. Into the bargain bin, you're right. Into the servo probation. <laughs> you're, you're so right. There it goes, down, all the way down. <laughs> all right, this is... Oh, shoot, I know that. That is Udmort. That is going into B tier with those other um, Uralic languages spoken in Russia, because I don't really know enough about it. Ukrainian, what do we say about Ukrainian? It's cooler than Russian. Ukraine. It has some nice definition. We have to put it in an S. A tier, S tier. Because we we gotta support our boys. That's so true. I do have a slab. I, I do have a sticker on my laptop. So, 
All right, Venetian. I don't have it on my laptop. What do we say about Venetian? Where do we put the rest of the Italians? They're all they're all over the place. <laughs> all right, but like, where, where are like the the Italians that don't matter? The Italians that don't matter are like here. Okay, cool. Put it there. Or like somewhere around here. Yeah, put it there. All right. Valid. Vepsian. This is going in our Uralic tier because, again, I really don't know like, too much about it. It's B isn't even a Uralic tier. I just feel like it, it fits the Uralic language. Some of these ones, like the minor ones. Vero, Vero, or however you say it. It's basically Estonian, but like Southerners. I couldn't find a flag of it that was a PNG because this website only takes PNG and JPEGs. So ignore the fact that it's just a pin. All right. What do we say? We're almost there. We're almost there. What do we say about Walloon? Shout out to Belgium. I like Belgium. You like Belgium, but as I, we all know... I like Belgium. I know you don't like Belgium. My Among Us name has always been I Hate Belgium, but I can compromise and put it in an A tier. We can compromise and put it in S and F. S and F? Yeah, because, because it is Fr it's basically French. That is one thing. Yeah. But at the same time... I don't Belgium's actually awesome. Belgium. Belgium's pretty neat. It could be Belgium's cooler if it was cool. didn't exist, but it's pretty neat. Yeah. All right, Welsh. I feel like Welsh is another SNF. But like we have all hand. the we have literally every other Celtic language in here. Yeah, but I don't like Wales. But I do. It's got yeah, but like uh, alternatively, it has that and should go in F tier for the crime against humanity. That is that. Fine. Yeah. Right. Note like note this Vimasaurus flag that because I couldn't find an actual flag, this is the only PNG image I could find. So uh, it's going into F tier. I think it says a lot about the country that the you know that's all you got. Yeah, all seventy speakers of them. You know what? They're seventy. That is literally like a sixth of my high school graduating class. True. So like, I don't think it, I, I think it can go left here and Yiddish people have looked at the stream than have it. that speak that hmm? more people have looked at this stream. I bet not currently, but I'm sure we've had more than 70 over the whole oh, yeah. thing. We have 29 watching now. All right. Yiddish. They make, Cool bagels. A tier? Uh, yeah, that, that's good, yeah. Yeah, A tier. And now I need to figure out what this one is. It's like a backwards Hungary. If anyone knows what backwards Hungary is, put it in chat and you will win. You won't win anything, but you'll win. Is it Roman? Or? No. Aquarian. It's not that. It's not Romanian. It's what the heck? All right. The two two guesses in chat so far: a flag from Venezuela and Kurdish. Rainish, Rainish. Uh, Thank you. Rainish? It's yeah. Rainish. Rainish. Yeah, which is like the German variety spoken in eastern Belgium. Shout to Demaniac. Yeah, thanks. All right, so I think it's a solid B tier. And I definitely didn't butcher those names. Demaniac? Yeah. Perlathon. Oh, shout out to Perlathon who's in the chat because he made my awesome intro that I'm going to be using from now on. Um, okay. So we finished it. We did it, Reddit. We did it, boys. Um... Yeah, that's pretty neat. I think this is pretty valid. I think some I think people are going to be upset that. with me, but you know what? It, this is this is because we thought it'd be silly. You know? What do you mean? This is, it's a very serious occasion. This is extremely serious, and everything please, I should please say here very serious should be taken after the, after the fact as a point. Um, and so, yeah, please. before I end the stream, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Send some love to David. Hello. He did great. I definitely did. Um, Not great, but I did. Yeah. Language. Cool. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you.
Thanks to everyone who donated.